Hi folks, it's Nick and Cooking Mitch. Hello. It's uh, actually quite a beautiful day. We've just came out of seeing you know what. Eclipse. Actually a bit better than I expected. Frankly, it is. Uh, I've seen the first and the second movie, so has Mitch. Yes. I've also read the books. Because I was curious, I was curious to figure, okay, if it's good enough to put into a movie, is it worth my read? My, my bother to read? I'm like, yeah, okay, probably it is. And he actually read all the books, folks. I didn't even bother touching them. Um, from this particular movie, uh, it's a pity that they couldn't have the original character who played Victoria from the other two movies to at least continue the character line, but Victoria's no longer with the movie. This is true, and I actually like the actress that uh, they got to, re got to replace her. I'm not sure why they chose to replace her. Maybe she wanted more money, and they're thinking, like, no. Or yeah. maybe she became, the other one became available, because I'm forgetting her name. But she she played uh, uh, Sarah Connor in the... No, it's not Sarah Connor. It's C Connor's wife in Terminator uh, Salvation. She was in a couple of M. Night Shyamalan's uh, movies. Didn't you tell me she was the lady, the lady of lady the lake? Lady of the lake, and she was also she also played a blind girl in the village, the movie he did before that. <laughs> Anyways, again, this movie attacks us with a triangle of love, more or less, less of a triangle than a girl stuck in between two warring men that want her affection and her attention, and the fact that one of them's a werewolf and the other one is a vampire. Well, it makes things quite interesting. The movie itself has a lot of nice action sequences, actually. Um, the uh, the uh, animation also and the effects done against the wolves was actually... It was improved in the first one, because the first one they were bad. Uh, the first one they... well, Mitch likes to, kind of, to, to actually say that they look like cardboard cutouts just animated. Yeah, like cardboard cutouts, like, <laughs> you have to you see, so have like... like Leg straight, legs forward, running. Look, he's running, he's running, he's running. Now he's gonna attack. I haven't got a third one. <laughs> Anyways, it's a it's an overgeneralization, of course, but it's because we like animation and we like effects, but we like both. To I be like it when, it, when it's done very, very well. When it's done half ass, I don't appreciate it. Yeah. So, uh, coming back to the movie itself, uh, the Volturi make an appearance with Dakota Fanning playing uh, one of the leaders. Who is noticeably taller since the last movie? Yes, she's grown a few inches. Mm -hmm. Growth spurts do that to people while they're actually acting. Just so long as they don't wait too long to make the last movie and she comes out having had two kids, grown 15 years, and starting to show laugh lines on her face so I can live with it. Yeah. So, the movie itself, from me and Mitch, at the very least, to see it, uh, I actually have to give it two thumbs. So do I. They they did their job in this one better than the last two. Yeah, and the acting was better. There is a few items that I need to critique, uh, one of which is that there's a piece of dialogue that they kept that's in the book that Mitch clarified for me, where uh, Jacob and Edward and... Bella. Bella are all in a tent in the mountain. During a snowstorm and uh, during a, did I say snowstorm? Yeah, I think it is snowstorm. Snowstorm. And she's very cold. She's freezing. But something they don't, something that they haven't clarified quite as much in the movie as in the book is um, werewolves, the shape changers, shape shifters from the Indian tribe, uh, have a much higher body temperature than a normal human. So he's ba basically you, you cuddle next to one of them. It's like having a full size uh, hot water bottle. Yeah, basically a radiator, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um, the uh, that, that particular bit for me didn't really do anything for the movie. In fact, it kind of tuned me off for a few moments to the point that I was almost nodding off. But apart from that, I can't complain about the movie. Um, the uh, fact that they used the, all the original cast and crew from the previous movies yeah, I think actually most of them, made it interesting. I'm guessing that they, they probably have most of, if not all of them, most of them contracted for the entire series. Yeah. Because uh, how how much how much would it mess it up if uh, Edward Cullen's father were replaced with another actor or his sister or uh, the two that would really piss me off if they had to replace recast. Bella, you can't recast, of course. Neither Edward, but uh, if Alice were played by another actress, I'd be like, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye bye. I'd walk out. Yeah. Well. Suffice it to say, you need to go see it. And then an interesting note for this particular review, we got to see the first new trailer for The Deadly Hollows. 
which is coming out in two parts. They've actually announced it in the trailer, November which I'm quite surprised. of this year and July, and the last part of July of 2011. Yeah. I've actually seen them before because they the trailers debuted on YouTube a week ago. Oh, I haven't seen them on YouTube. I haven't seen uh, them on YouTube, uh, unfortunately. I don't really have the time to actually watch course, trailers anymore. And the, apparently the reason why they're making in two parts out of one, um, from what I'm told by people at work who actually read the Harry Potter novels, uh, every consecutive novel got longer. And The Deathly Hollows is probably around 800 to 1,000 pages. Yeah, no, it's one of the biggest books. Yeah, it's a, basically it started out as a book yay thick to a grimoire. Yep. It's like... It's like... Well... We'll have to... Paper cut! Well, I'll mark my spot with a paper cut. I think that's enough of us doing this review, folks. Yes. Anyways, uh, if you have seen it, I hope you enjoyed the movie. If you haven't seen it, consider going to see it, because it's one of the best ones so far for this particular series. Yeah, although... Um, I can't complain. I mean, there were children there, there were tweens. No, nobody was... Loud and obnoxious this time. Yeah, I'm surprised. Ex no except, for, except for one girl that, that went up and down the stairs repeatedly like a dolphin. Dum 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 dum. It's like oh wait, her footsteps were so loud they were drowning out the movie. Yeah, uh, that uh, yeah, and uh, that's not saying she was overweight, folks. Just remember one thing: summertime is fun for sandals, for flip flops. Try to avoid wearing them in theaters, please. Yeah, they're flip flops. They're not supposed to be symbols. They're not, they're not supposed to go go clang clang whenever you step with them. That's annoying. Yeah. Anyways, have a nice one.